I think that there is an awful lot of discussion at the minute about the importance of MRD as an endpoint in trials. MRD as an endpoint is clearly something which is important mechanistically. It helps you understand what is happening, but it is in a sense an intermediate endpoint and its value as a surrogate is not always clear and I think it depends on the different settings in hematological malignancies. If one is looking for a survival benefit then MRD positivity becomes important when it is difficult to salvage the patients because then MRD will mean relapse or recurrence which will then translate forward into death. But if you can salvage most of the patients, acute promyelocytic leukemia is, a, is perhaps a good example. Uh, these people will get a molecular relapse, but that molecular relapse is very treatable. So its value, in a sense there, is showing that you can reduce the need for salvage therapy. In terms of a an endpoint that's useful for licensing, I think there's a little bit of work to be done in certain areas. Acute myeloid leukemia is a good example where we need to understand the value of MRD as a surrogate endpoint. But in certain diseases where the disease course is now very long, uh, CML, myeloma, CLL, APL, you're not getting a lot of mortality. And so MRD really becomes the only reasonable endpoint because it is directly related to the disease and it is the sort of endpoint where you might be able to see a sufficiently large difference to be able to recruit a trial that isn't going to take many, many years to recruit.